In a stock market hitting new highs nearly every single day, not every stock is getting in on the game. Five big S&P 500 companies have been stuck, basically, where they were when the year began. Those names, Mylan, Concha Resources, Goldman Sachs, Fastenal, and Quest Diagnostics. Any of those names worth your money. Max Wolf with DTA, Dennis Davitt with Harvest Volatility Management. Max, very interesting because those names have nothing at all to do with each other. <laughs> They're in completely different sectors, every single one of them. Any names stick out to you? Yeah, so Goldman and Mylon stick out to me. I, I do think that the sort of worst of times is probably over for the big financial firms, despite the weakness in the fixed income trading. Starting to see some interesting developments here in the M&A business starting to creep up and the uh, banking and wealth management. So I actually think Goldman doesn't need to be dead money. Likewise, in Mylon Pharmaceuticals, obviously I don't think it's going back to its previous exciting kind of better momentum days, but I don't think it's a, it should be left for dead. And the last little caveat I'll make is a lot of companies have gone nowhere. So part of what's happened here is the indexes have grinded a lot higher, but in the age of index investing, that isn't always as widespread as popular opinion would have you believe. Dennis, how about you? Um, yeah, just to pick up where Max left off on, on the, the era of index investing, one of the things that we've seen is correlation. So how stocks move within the index is at all-time lows. So correlation in the S&P is at 9%, which I don't think I've ever seen at that low in 30 years of doing this. But it makes sense when you think about it. You have energy stocks that have lagged, then you have tech stocks that have rallied, and then when they tend to reverse through asset reallocation. I will say, as I, I look through these stocks and try to find the common theme, the one thing that kind of jumped out a little bit at me that this is a bit of a reflation story. So where these stocks, if you their trip to zero has been somewhat of a, of a bumpy ride to get there. Just look at Mylan. But these stocks with the, in the energy sector, as we're reflating back into this global economy and global growth, we see them retrace a lot of the losses that they had earlier in the year. So the reflation trade was very popular at the end of last year, a little bit at the beginning of this year, and then it fell really out of favor. Those stocks sell off. Now it's coming more back into favor, and we're, seeing, we're hearing more about inflation and reflation into the market and global growth, and that's why we're seeing these stocks come back. Uh, as far as picks, um, I agree with Max. I think Goldman is, is definitely one of the, the better places to be. All right, Dennis David and uh, Max Wolf. Guys, we appreciate it. Five sticks in the mud, I guess, as we're calling them. We'll see if any of them breaks out anyway soon. Guys, thank you very much. Folks, as always, tune into the live version of Trading Nation on CNBC's Power Lunch. I'm Brian Sullivan. We'll see you there as well. Take care. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.